Yes, unfortunately, those risks remain uh, elevated. Uh, uh, the fiscal accounts are not in a great shape in the advanced economy, but uh, they are improving. We have a considerable reduction in deficits uh, over the last few years. There has been a considerable reduction. We project deficit to be about half of what they were on average in 2009. The other good news is that the market sentiment, uh, the propensity of markets to take up risk uh, has improved. Uh, which also make, uh, makes uh, things uh, easier. But of course, there are still important challenges. Public debt is still quite uh, high and is still rising in, in several of these advanced economies. Uh, if you exclude uh, fairly small ones, uh, there are major fiscal challenges in, in 10 countries. We have uh, the United States, uh, Japan, the UK, plus uh, seven countries in the Euro area, seven Euro area members. Uh, France, uh, Italy, Spain, Belgium, and then the three countries that have uh, programs supported by financing from the IMF uh, and the European uh, Union, uh, Greece, uh, Ireland, and Portugal. Now this is only, the good news, it's only 10 countries, not a big number, but they are large countries and they account for 40% of world GDP. So what happens to fiscal policy in these countries matters quite a lot for the world. Yeah, I mean, for Japan, first of all, uh, there is a need uh, of uh, a medium-term fiscal plan to clarify how this country is going to stabilize the debt-to-GDP ratio and then bring it down. Uh, and this will have to go beyond uh, the measures that the government has already specified so far, uh, such as the increase in the VAT rate, that will not be enough. Uh, for the United States, uh, there is also a need for a medium-term plan that has a support for Congress that has been missing, although one has to say that the United States so far has already implemented quite a lot of fiscal, fiscal adjustment over the last few years.